Hello everyone. So let's take up 8th April 2019 mathematics paper of evening shift. Let's begin with the first question of J main this paper. The vector equation of plane through the line of intersection of two planes given to us which is perpendicular to another plane. A simple question from 3D geometry. Let's begin with this question. We have to find a plane which is passing through the intersection of these two. So, simply it is P1 plus lambda P2, we can write x plus y plus z minus 1 plus lambda times 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 5 is equal to 0. Correct. So, this is the required plane. Now, it is given to me the plane is perpendicular to this plane meaning normal of the required plane is perpendicular to the normal of the given plane. So, a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is 0 that gives us 1 plus 2 lambda multiplied with 1. So, let us write 1 plus 2 lambda next 1 plus 3 lambda multiplied with minus 1. So, minus of 1 plus 3 lambda plus 1 multiplied with 1 plus 4 lambda. So, let us write here 1 plus 4 lambda is equal to 0. Correct. So, simplify it. You can see 1 is cancelled. We are left with 2 plus 4, 6 lambda minus 3 lambda that is 3 lambda plus 1 giving you the value of lambda as minus 1 by 3. Put back the value of lambda in the equation of plane written earlier. Therefore, plane is substituting the value as minus 1 by 3 we can see we write here minus 1 by 3 so on taking lcm 3 is here and minus 1 is here just write down 3 times x plus y plus z minus 1 minus 1 times 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 5 is equal to 0. So, this is the required plane. Just simplify it. This is going to give you 3x minus 2x that is x, 3y minus 3y cancelled. Then we have 3z minus 4z that is minus z. Then minus 3 plus 5 that is plus 2 is equal to 0. Question was talking about the vector equation. So, vector equation can be written as r dot i cap minus k cap plus 2 is equal to 0. So, the required equation obtained is this one. Let us check from the given options. Do we have it in our options? r dot i minus k plus 2 equals 0. We can see that option number 1 is the correct answer. So, let us mention it as our answer. Let us move on to the next one that is question number 2. Which one of the following statements is not a tautology? So, we have to go with the table for this question. Let us start it. We can see here input we can give for P and Q. So, let us write down P, Q, negation P, negation Q required, P or Q, P and Q required. We also need P or negation Q. We need negation P or Q, right? So, when we say this is F, 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 T, T, F, T, T, negation P simply T, T, F, F, negation Q that is T, F, T, F. P or Q, we can see this is F, T, T, T. P and Q, we can say this is F, 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 T. Now, P or negation Q, meaning this one and this one. Taking these two together, we have T, then F, F meaning F, T, T meaning T. 1 t is there, we can simply say the result will become t, correct. Next, we have negation p 
or Q. Negation P or Q meaning these two columns. So, or is there whenever you see T just write down T result T T F T. This is clear. Now, let us see what the question is talking about. If P and Q then negation P or Q. So, P and Q meaning we are talking about this one. If this one then this one if then what is the conclusion for if then we know for if then statement the output is false only when you see second one only second one is false for these two only second one is nowhere false. So, the result is a tautology. So, this is a tautology correct this is not the required answer as question is which is not a tautology next if p and q then p if p and q again the same then p meaning this one now second one has two f's but only f is not there again this is a tautology so this is also not a choice next p or q meaning this one then we have p or negation q meaning this one correct so taking these two second is this one we have only false here and that the only thing which is false because here we can see true. So, this is definitely not a tautology. So, this is our correct option. I am sure this question is clear. Let us mark it as the correct answer option number 3. Let us move on to the next one that is question number 3. The number of 4 digit numbers is strictly greater than 4321 that can be formed using the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Repetition is allowed. Simple one. Let us start it. Four digit numbers which are greater than 4, 3, 2, 1. If I consider that first place is filled with 5, then definitely whatever you put here number is greater than 4, 3, 2, 1. So, in this case we observe 1 into 6 into 6 into 6 total 216 cases. That is clear. Next, if first place is filled with 4, then second place cannot have 1, 2, 0, can have 3 with certain restrictions. But if second place is filled with 4 or 5, definitely the number is greater than the required one. So, if you place second one 4 or 5, you can say 1 into 2, then any of 6 digits come in the next 2 slots, the number is greater than the 4, 3, 2, 1. So, in this case, we observe 72. Next, when you say first digit is 4, but second digit is 3, then if you say third, fourth, anything like 3, 4, 5 is there, it is always greater than 4, 3, 2, 1. So, anything like 3, 4, 5 meaning 1 into 1 into 3 into 6. So, this gives you 18 cases, right. Next, it is 4, this is 3 and this is 2. Last place can have any of these 4 numbers. So, we have 1 into 1 into 1 into 4 giving me 4. So, that is the final result just add all 4 that is 216 plus 72 plus 18 plus 4 adding up we simply get the result as 310. So, correct answer for this question is option number 4. I am sure this is clear. Let us move on to the next one that is question number 4.